The pine cone was not there. Somebody stole it, he shouted, and he turned around and ran home as fast as he could. Mother, mother, he cried. It is gone. My pine cone is gone. Someone has taken it. Are you sure? asked his mother. Someone took it, shouted little Otter. Stop and think, said Mother Otter. And she put her arm around him. Could that be someone? Could that someone be you? Little Otter closed his eyes and he thought and thought. Now I remember. I did not want to get it dirty again and I did not want to lose it. So I put it in a box in my drawer. Little Otter ran into his bedroom. He pulled out his drawer. He took took out the box and opened it. He ran into the kitchen. Here it is, he shouted. Mother Otter hugged him. I'm so glad you found it, she said, and now it is time for bed. But first, said Little Otter, I must put my pine cone under my pillow. I do not want to lose it again. Little Otter's Roast Coasting Party Little Otter flopped onto his chest and slid down the snow-covered hill headfirst. After a long slide, he stopped at the foot of the hill in a whirl of snowflakes. Then Mother Otter slid down the hill and landed right beside him. Let's do it again, said Little Otter. Let's, said his mother. Mother Otter and Little Otter last. It would be fun to have a coasting party, said Little Otter. I would like that, said Mother Otter, but who would come? I will ask all my friends, said Little Otter. Good, said Mother Otter. You invite your friends while I make cookies and cocoa. Mother Otter fixed his scarf and gave him a kiss. Then Little Otter hurried off. Soon he came to a tree where Porcupine was sitting on a high branch. Porcupine was, a, was chewing bark. Will you come to my coasting party, asked Little Otter. Not now, said Porcupine. I am busy eating. We are having cookies and cocoa, said Little Otter. I do not like sweet things, said Porcupine. Why don't you like what you ask Badger? Thank you, I will, said Little Otter, and he hurried off. Soon he came to Badger's house. He knocked at the door, but no one answered. Just then, Fox came by. You are wasting your time, he said. Badger is sleeping. He stays, he says it is the best way to get through the winter. Oh dear, said Little Otter. I wanted to invite him to my coasting party. Can you come? I would like to, said Fox, but I am expected home. Why don't you ask Woodchuck? Thank you, I will, said Little Otter, and he hurried off. When Little Otter came to Woodchuck's house, he knocked on the, at the door, but there was no answer. Just as he turned to leave, Skunk opened the door. What do you want? he asked. Oh dear, said Little Otter, I have made a mistake. I thought this was Woodchuck's house. It is, yawned Skunk. I am renting a part of this house for winter. Oh, said Little Otter, is Woodchuck home? Of course, said Skunk, but he is sleeping. He plans to sleep until spring. Not a bad idea if you ask me, he said, and he slammed the door in Little Otter's face. Little Otter turned to leave. There were tears in his eyes. Skunk can be rude, said Raccoon, who was sitting in a tree nearby. No one wants to come to my coasting party, said Little Otter. A coasting party, cried Raccoon. That sounds fun. Would you like to come, asked Little Otter? Yes, and we can ask Bear to come too. Little Otter and Raccoon looked for Bear in, the pa in a patch of bushes. They could not find him. They peered into the hollow of a tree, but he was not there, nor he was in the rocky cave nearby. Clouds began to fill the sky. It grew darker and darker. 
It is going to snow, said Raccoon. I do not like snow. I am going home until it is over. He hurried off. A few snowflakes drifted down. One landed on Little Otter's nose. I must go home too, he said. I do not want Mother Otter to worry. He started to run. The snow fell faster and faster. Soon Little Otter could hardly see where he was going. A thick white curtain of snow fell all around him. As Little Otter neared home, the snow stopped falling and the sun began to shine. Little Otter rubbed his eyes. He could not believe what he saw, but it was true. All of his uncles and cousins and aunts were co coasting on the steep hill. We've come to your party, they called. Hooray, shouted Little Otter as he hurried to join them. Little Otter's mother and aunts coasted down the slide 26 times. Little Otter's uncles coasted down the slide 52 times. Little Otter's cousins coasted down the slide 73 times. But Little Otter was so happy that he coasted down the slide 147 times. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book featuring three wonderful stories.